and welcome, I'm your Code King, and I've just published another update to my DOTS course, this time adding 11 new lectures covering adding buildings onto the game. We're going to learn how to implement a zombie spawner building, a barracks building, and a defensive tower building. On top of that, we're also going to learn how to create a brand new unit type, the Scout, this one moves quite a bit faster. And in all these lectures, we also learn quite a bit more of DOTS stuff. For the barracks to work, we need to learn all about dynamic buffers. This is how we can store a list inside an ECS component. Then for handling the barracks UI, for this we also need to learn how to be clever at mixing dots events and C-sharp events. We need to learn how to set up scriptable objects and how exactly to best store the data for each type. And this update also includes a very important lecture on polishing the animation system that we made in the previous update. We need to learn how to make a custom baking system and create additional entities in order to make sure everything works perfectly. So if you're already on the course, you already have access to the new lectures. And if you don't yet own the course, you can pick it up with the link in the description. And like I said previously, my plan in the future is to make a free sample of the course whenever I finish the whole thing. I plan to make the first few hours as a free YouTube video, and I intentionally designed the course to include lots of dot stuff directly in those first few hours. So if you can't afford the course, that's okay, just stay tuned for that one. But that free video will still be coming out after I finish the course, which is still going to take quite a bit. If you want to start learning dots right now, then you can go ahead, pick up the course and get started. Unity just had their Unite conference, where they talked about the next generation version of Unity and how it will have entities directly integrated with game objects. So, as long as you are not a complete beginner, I highly recommend you start learning about dots. It is an excellent, extremely powerful tool that can make some of your code run over 200 times faster. It's a really awesome tool that you should definitely learn about. And Unity themselves said the API should not change much between now and the future, so it's safe to start learning right now to be prepared to use this awesome tool whenever you need it. Alright, so I just published these lectures and I'm already hard to work on the next update. That one will be finally covering how to make flow field pathfinding in DOT. I'm really excited about this next update, although writing the lectures in a clear way is definitely going to be quite challenging. Getting all of this to work in a data oriented design is quite tricky. Either way, I'm already very happy with how the course is right now. I think it has an excellent smooth learning curve, even though DOTS looks quite complex at first. So if you're already on the course, go check out the new lectures. And if you don't yet own it, then go pick it up with the link in the description. Remember how I'm always available in the course comments, so feel free to ask any questions. And make sure to join the private Discord and join me on the weekly private live streams. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.